random. So you just get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But it looks like Arcoon is going to be starting in with the Roy here. I'm guessing against the Pac-Man, he's hoping to be able to get through that Hydrant and get enough damage through that he can actually get that sucker off the stage as quick as possible. And it looks like these two players do understand how they move, so they're, they're kind of feeling each other out, hoping to get the early combos going. And GameCube guy able to get a clean 40 in onto Arcoon here. And following him up here, here as well. And Arcoon, once again, it looks like he understands how GameCube guy wants to play. And GameCube guy is switching up his play style for Arcoon here. I'm guessing these players have played against each other quite a bit, so they understand what each of them wants to do, because it's looking like they have a pretty good feel for each other. And now we do see GameCube guy going back to some of his previous tech his previous styles, but Arkun having a hard time getting back in to get that, to get that, get the rest of the damage in here, because he is, I believe he's almost into the rage here, where if he actually gets a smash on that side, he should be able to get the kill. Oh, and the fantastic tech coming out of GameCube guy to finish out the kill on Arkun on that first stock. Now Arkun finished up in going into the doctor here with Dr. Mario. And oh my goodness, GameCube guy coming in with a clean 50% just to get the match started. Is there anything that can stop this man? Getting the 72, 80%, still living it, almost 120. And oh, you hate to see that. GameCube guy just hitting Arcoon far enough away that he cannot get back onto the stage. But it looks like Arcoon is onto the tune onto the young link here. He should be able to clean up this kill if he can just get in around all of the zoning that GameCube guy is doing. Because GameCube guy is doing a fantastic job keeping the zone pressure up against Arcoon. So he doesn't have a great option when he's coming back on the stage or when he's following GameCube guy into a kill. But, oh, and not, okay. It looks like he did get him off of the top. So Arcoon not taking too much damage there, but he does have two other characters to deal with. And GameCube guy not wasting any time by starting to get right into his face, not letting the young Link set up the zone pressure on the Cloud at this point. Cloud is a fantastic character for getting these, getting through these kinds of zones because he's willing to throw his body out there just to get a little bit of chunk damage. And it looks like GameCube guy does understand that and is taking the time to make sure that he gets in. And GameCube guy trying to go for a cheeky kill, not quite getting him far enough away. And Arcoon once again setting up the zone pressure, making GameCube guy stay on that top stage. But GameCube guy is getting close to that limit break. So if he gets that limit, I'm a little worried for Arcoon here. Oh, okay. And Arcoon able to come down right behind him and get the nice forward smash there. But again, with this limit coming in, I'm a little worried for Arcoon in this first match because that limit, if he gets that side B off, oh, he goes for the down B, misses it, and is not quite in range and it looks like that is far enough out to get the damage through. So now it looks like GameCube guy is onto the Isabella and Arcoon is putting in some work on this young Link here, but GameCube guy understanding where he needs to position to avoid a lot of the kind of spotty damage that he can get through with, with young Link. GameCube guy having a hard time getting through with Isabella but he does understand that he doesn't need too much to be able to get the kill off here. And Arcoon understanding that he has got to put up that zone and put up that wall so that it makes GameCube guy have to make some hard decisions when coming into Arcoon's space. Arcoon pressuring the shield. GameCube guy following it up with a with a quick grab. Once again, GameCube guy is understanding that he needs to be matching Arcoon, but Arcoon coming, ooh, and Arcoon does get the recovery back on the stage. GameCube guy gets the forward smash, not quite there. Oh my goodness, this man living at 150%. And GameCube guy just kind of playing a defensive match because he understands he doesn't need too much damage to be able to get the kill, but Arcoon just creating such a wall that it is, oh my goodness, and that is it. Arcoon coming back with his final character, getting through two more of GameCube guys there and getting the kills off. That was a fantastic one to watch. That 
that young link just putting in work for Arcoon there. So it's so it looks like we do have Arcoon kind of playing a little bit of a different game here with GameCube guy, where he's actually choosing to start out with his it look probably not his weakest character, but his second weakest character, and then being followed up after that, going into his strongest character on his last one so that he can get a lot of damage in uh, onto there. But now we'll come back to it, into here because it looks like our two players are deciding on bands at this point and what's going to be going where. So we'll see what map these two end up on. And to be completely honest, I'm not as familiar with many of these characters, so I'm not quite sure what a great uh, what a great place is for him, but it looks like we are going back to another relaxing time on Yoshi's Island. Alright, and it looks like the run back, but Arkun is going to be leading in this time with the young Link instead of following it up behind the Doctor and the Roy. And GameCube guy switching up as well, starting out with the Cloud, going to the Isabella, and following and finishing everything out with his, it looks like his strongest character. Oh, was there a, it, it looks like there was a bit of indecision that happened there, or maybe somebody marked the wrong characters, they didn't have them in the right order. So we'll get that just reestablished here. And again, going to Yoshi's story, I, so this is GameCube Guy's counter pick, and it looks like it's one that he really enjoys playing on. Oh, do we? Okay, we didn't have the name set. That's it's always fun. We don't quite have the name set. That's that's one thing that's a little frustrating with the Squad Strike system is that you do have to re-input um, your name each time. But again, so it looks like GameCube Guy is going to lead out with his strongest, and so is Arcoon. So we're going to be seeing a young Link going into the Pac-Man from GameCube guy here. Three, two, one, go! started. Arcoon just going for some early zoning, trying to get some early chip damage in there, going for the up B. Just, you know, every little bit counts. And it's also keeping GameCube guy off of some of his zone control. So Arcoon controlling the center of the stage, making it hard for GameCube guy to get in there. And now GameCube guy's in there. It looks like the the additional platform is causing a bit of an issue for GameCube guy because he's not feeling as comfortable going for the quick drop on the on the hydrants to get that damage in. The GameCube guy just doing a quick recovery, but he has not really been able to get into Arcoon here. Arcoon's just been controlling the center of the stage and getting him up to 100%. This is this is fantastic to watch out of Arcoon because he understands where he needs to get this damage early and what he needs to do to get GameCube guy kind of off, off of him. And getting the quick kill, great job coming out, Arcoon. GameCube guy happened to go to the cloud now, which he should be able to get a, a bit more damage, but Arcoon looking almost unkillable on this young link here. Now we do have coming in with the down air. And he is able to reestablish in the center. It looks like GameCube guy's trying to take a bit of this control away from Arcoon so he doesn't have as strong of a position going into the center of the stage. But Arcoon being able to reestablish it, but sitting at 100%, yeah, that's that's gonna be it because the cloud, if he gets that back air off, that that's enough to take you out. But sitting at a 43%, there's, there's not too much for Arcoon to make up here. But it's looking like Arcoon is able to get some clean combos, add an additional about 35% onto there, and stay out of the combos that GameCube guy is going for. GameCube guy just happened to go for chip damage each round here. Just a little bit here, a little bit there, which is kind of dangerous with this cloud because eventually it gets to a point where that back air that's only doing 10, 15% of the time, that, that'll get a kill quick off of you. And now making it even here, so it looks like this is a little bit harder for Arcoon to get into with the Dr. Mario onto the cloud, but he's starting to get some damage up here. And trying to follow that damage up, but Arkun gets a clean, GameCube guy gets a clean recovery. I apologize for getting switched up there. Nice back air onto GameCube guy. And Arkun trying to keep him off of that ledge, but Arkun not quite able to get in. 
Arcoon getting the grab. This should be the kill. Yeah, that's the kill. Great throw coming out of Arcoon there. And now we're going on to our last one for GameCube guy with the Isabella. Arcoon does currently have one lead in the matches, so if he's not... Oh, and oh, you hate to see the self D, the SD. But they happen. But Arcoon back onto this Roy that we didn't get to see too much of when he was playing into the Pac-Man from GameCube guy before, because GameCube guy just was able to keep the damage on him and get him out of there quick. Arcoon playing a lot better into this Isabella. Sitting at 47% though, we'll have to see. Okay, he's starting to get the damage again. Bringing it even here. Keeping a couple clean lines going. Mark. The GameCube guy just able to get more chip damage in each time. But Arcoon following it up and getting the forward smash for the kill. Great job out of Arcoon. Cleaning it up with a nice clean 2-0. I am bad, I forgot this is winners. So this is gonna be a best of five right here for winners finals. So we did have the band coming through, but Arkun getting it. Both of them did remember to put on names. But Arkun leading 2-0 at this point in this best of five. Hopefully GameCube guys able to make up some ground here. Maybe come back for the clean sweep on the three. It looks like it looks like another run back, guys. They're keeping with the same three characters on each of these. And almost the same order. Arcoon's just going to be finishing up with the Dr. Mario this time rather than finishing up with that Roy. But here we go. We are getting into our third match and possibly the last game here for Arcoon before he goes into Grand Finals. I believe next up on the stream, we're going to have some of our losers matches as those are kind of happening in the background. But oh my goodness, GameCube guy getting the quick kill, going deep for that one on Arcoon. But great job out of GameCube guy getting the quick kill off on that first stock out of, out of Arcoon. But now Arcoon onto the, onto the Roy. And GameCube guy, it looks like he's, without having that middle platform there, he's not feeling as pressured. And he's able to throw that out a little little more frequently. Now getting some shield pressure here. Each one kind of feeling each other out at this point. Looks like nobody's really willing to go for anything big at this point. Though if, ooh, almost getting that grab off the ledge. But Arkoon's Roy just able to follow wherever he is going. And Genki guy trying to get the cheeky, trying to get the cheeky Hydrant there on the ledge, not quite able to hit it as the other Hydrant is still mid. Nice up B out of Arcoon just to get GameCube guy off of him and following up with the forward air. I'm not, okay, GameCube guy is able to make it back to stage, staying calm. Now Arcoon is just trying to finish the stock up and get that clean kill off so he can get into the ne next ones here. But GameCube guy making it hard for him, keeping the pressure up even on that, even on the shield. Still keeping the pressure, ke still keeping the pressure. And there we go, GameCube guy able to get the hydrant kill. Oh, but a quick follow up from Arkin. Just a nice cheeky back air to, to take out the, to take out the Pac-Man. Now Cloud getting a good amount of damage, but Arkun has got a lot of, he has got a lot to make up for here because he still has another character to deal with after this Cloud, if he's even able to get that one out. But he, he was able to pull it back in that last game, so we'll see what he's able to do in this one here. Looks like he's just going for some good combos, staying out of the, almost getting baited into that side B there from GameCube guy. But Arkun understanding what he needs to do, and oh, getting the misfire there, getting the misfire. GameCube guy getting up to his limit again. Oh, and catching, catching Arkun on the jump. GameCube guy coming back, getting a, his next win. 
Ooh, he's wanting to keep this interesting. So he is going, trying to go the distance here, taking him out with the cloud. And now we're going into bands here. I believe these two are just kind of talking amongst themselves, deciding where they're going to be going. So possibly going to Smashville here, which I think would be a great stage for GameCube Guy, but going to Battlefield at this point. So Arkane understanding that GameCube Guy is not able to use as much of his Hydrant game going into that, but looks like the run back once again. And make sure to put your player name on. Oh. <laughs> you are just fine. So after you select your characters, you can hit start and jump back. I know, Squad Strike's fun. It's Squad Strike, man. It resets it every time. <laughs> you have to get another change in here. You can't just hold back here. <laughs> Getting too much into the set, man. Getting excited. <laughs> We're rolling it back with the 3v3. All right. Yeah, go go change that right now, Arkun. All right. Being a good guy, GameCube guy. All right, but here we are getting into our fourth match of this winner's finals. Very excited to see this here because a GameCube guy able to get the cheeky kill off the first with the first stock on the last one. It looks like the Arkun's going to be switching it up, hoping to open with the Mario instead this time. GameCube guy getting his selection. Again, filling each other out. Oh, Arkun using GameCube guy's own hydrant against him to get a clean 50 early and following it up with even a little more damage. Arkun looking good opening the stock, so it looks like maybe, maybe the secret was getting the doctor in. Now getting, now getting GameCube guy almost to 100%. If GameCube guy it keeps following to these edges, I'm a little worried for him. Yeah, because just like that, Arkane able to get a quick kill out there, trying to follow it up for a quick kill, and now taking a bit of return damage this time. Trying to return the, the Hydrant from whence it came. And GameCube guy, take it. It looks like he understands being at this 100% puts him in a bit of a dangerous spot. So he's playing a little more carefully at this point to hopefully not get too much in the face of, in the face of Arkun, who's looking for that kill at this point, because he's throwing out some pretty dangerous options here. Ooh, the bouncing hydrant, one of the scariest things that's in this game, I swear. Ooh, and not quite the finisher. GameCube guy finished following the bell right behind the Hydrant for some good damage onto Arkun. Arkun now sitting at 150%. But GameCube guy just keeps getting that little chip damage, going for the bell once again. Oh no, he got to the key and was able to get the kill off of Arkun with that. With that. So now Arkun bringing in his young Link. This thing is a terror, in my opinion. But GameCube guy. Kind of staying back, understanding that he doesn't need to get too far in. He just needs to get some damage here and get some work done with the... Ooh, cheeky hydrant. Cheeky hydrant. But GameCube guy, understanding that he just needs to get some damage in because he does have two other characters to follow this up with at this point. He's trying to get as much damage in with that Pac-Man as he can. And Arkun putting up his zone game. Oh, and the bouncing hydrant takes it again. Unfortunately for GameCube guy, he is going into his into his cloud, which was was a bit zoned out by Arkun in the previous match in the previous game here. But Arkun just setting up his wall, understanding that he just needs to get a bit of chip damage, bit of chip damage here, bit of chip damage there. Go in for your kill. Ooh, clean counter out of there. Or parry. Need to use the right phrase. <laughs> Quick up B, get some nice damage off. 
and Arkun still keeping the pressure up on GameCube Guy, but GameCube Guy not able to get in as much this time. Keeping things about even, starting to get into the center. Ooh, but hitting that limit is a dangerous point for Young Link. Doing the up B, I'm not sure that that was intended. Oh, but Harkoon jumping on top of him, going for the down air, getting a quick kill off onto the cloud here. Now moving into the Isabella, this is the last character for GameCube guy, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure how much damage he's going to be able to get through because Harkoon has been looking really good on this young game. Getting it, oh my goodness, getting up to 50, almost 60. That that's just that's just scary, and does make it back to platform. Oh my goodness, but GameCube guy just going even here. And Arcune looking like he is looking for blood. He's looking for that cheeky kill. Oh! But gets a little too close, and GameCube guy able to finish it out with a quick smash. And now the Roy comes in. Quick forward smash, and that is it. Great games between Arcune and GameCube guy, but that is going to be Arcune taking it 3 to 1 in our winner's.